March 11th, Obedience to the Heavenly Vision. Acts 26.19 says, I was not disobedient to the heavenly vision. If we lose the heavenly vision God has given us, we alone are responsible, not God. We lose the vision because of our own lack of spiritual growth. If we do not apply our beliefs about God to the issues of everyday life, the vision God has given us will never be fulfilled. The only way to be obedient to the heavenly vision is to give our utmost for His highest, our best for His glory. This can be accomplished only when we make a determination to continually remember God's vision. But the acid test is obedience to the vision in the details of our everyday life. 60 seconds out of every minute and 60 minutes out of every hour, not just during times of personal prayer or public meetings. Habakkuk 2.3 says, Though it tarries, wait for it. We cannot bring the vision to fulfillment through our own efforts, but must live under its inspiration until it is fulfilled itself. We try to be so practical, but we forget the vision. At the very beginning, we saw the vision, but did not wait for it. We rushed off to do our practical work. And once the vision was fulfilled, we could no longer even see it. Waiting for a vision that tarries is the true test of our faithfulness to God. It is at the risk of our own soul's welfare that we get caught up in practical busy work only to miss the fulfillment of the vision. Watch for the storms of God. The only way God plants His saints is through the whirlwind of His storms. Will you be proven to be an empty pod with no seed inside? That will depend on whether or not you are actually living in the light of the vision you have seen. Let God send you out through His storm, and don't go until He does. If you select your own spot to be planted, you will prove yourself to be an unproductive empty pod. However, if you allow God to plant you, you will bear much fruit, like John 15, 8. It is essential that we live and walk in the light of God's vision for us. 1 John 1, 7.